And that was happening as Homestead students were outraged over a racist social media post. It showed a student in blackface. The atmosphere at the school grew tense as students protested. There were reports of fights on the campus. At one point, the school went on lockout as a safety precaution. 21 Alive's Alex Null brings us up to speed now, Alex. Yeah, the controversy stems around a picture we now know is from last summer, but came to the attention of school leaders earlier this week. It dep depicts a white student at Bla uh, Homestead in blackface, which led to protests at the school throughout the day. Our work as a school and as a district and as a community is only beginning. That's Superintendent Park Ginder during a news conference addressing the controversy after a racist photo showing a white student in blackface sparked protests at Homestead High School Thursday. This picture, which our management team made the call to blur, was reportedly taken last summer and brought to the attention of school officials earlier this week. That's what set off student protests at school Thursday. In response to the photo, Southwest Allen leaders sent a letter to parents saying in part that the highly offensive post in no way represents our district values. They say the student in the photo was not in school Thursday. We live in a society where if you have problems in your community, you're going to have them in your school. Students at Homestead responded in protest throughout the school day. Videos sent to 21 Alive show those protests, during which Superintendent Park Ginder says students shared their thoughts and ideas, like in this video where students are talking with administrators. We heard a lot from our kids today, a pain of being a minority student uh, in an environment that's largely uh, white. Uh, we also heard some very, very encouraging things from our students, minority students, who are pleased with the opportunities they have but want us to be better. Ginder says things got emotional and tense at times during conversations with the students. There were, there were elevated emotions today among the kids that were there because as, the longer we talked, the more each student wanted to be heard and not all of them agreed with one another. Some parents and students insist racism is an ongoing problem at the predominantly white school. I don't know. It's just a whole lot of discrimination in that school. Like you come, like you, school is supposed to be a safe place. You come there to like learn and stuff, but coming to Homestead, you never know what's going to be said to you. You never know what's going to happen to you in that school. It bothers me because I don't want my child or no one else's children to feel like they're not being heard or they're not getting the proper learning and the proper education as everyone else. During the news conference Thursday, Superintendent Ginder agreed there's work to be done and says there's a bigger conversation to be had about diversity. We know that kids, people are sharing inappropriate language all the time. It's glorified in the media, it's glorified in music, it's glorified in uh, comedy. Somehow we have to get to our kids and have them understand that isn't appropriate. It's not appropriate between same race or different race. And that's one of the things that we heard from our students this morning. It's worth noting that Homestead students will not be in school tomorrow. That's due to a scheduled teacher in service day and is not related to today's incident. It's unclear if tomorrow's boys basketball game will go forward or if it will have tighter security. We'll keep you updated. Brian? Indeed we will. Thank you very much, Alex. And one concern parents will likely have is about the safety of their kids in school. During today's news conference, the district presented today's events as peaceful. But throughout the day, our newsroom was sent several videos of fights breaking out between students. We're going to show you one of those videos. Our team verified. We'll let you watch that now. Again, this is one of several videos sent to our newsroom today. This one, indeed, we verified was from Homestead High School. We've reached out to the district for a comment about the violence seen in that video and reports of other fights. We will let you know when we hear back.